Hey guys, it's Constance with Charming Custom Crafts here on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. Uh, have any questions, have no doubt, email me at charmingcustomcrafts at yahoo.com. So this month is Lucky Charms um, month, and not necessarily about shamrock or green. It's about, when I do themes, it's about making the projects fit the theme, not the theme, not the theme fitting your projects. It's the opposite way. You take your project and you word it just the way you want to, and you explain your project and the words that match the thing. So um, that one uh, was being, you know, lucky, uh, the last one, um, being lucky for, you know, anyway, I'll leave it at that. I just talk too much. So uh, day seven I did do, but uh, my husband accidentally erased my videos. I'm going to leave it at that. But uh, those who receive those little gift packages know who they are. Um, I do little goodies on every, um, I try to get it in every one of the D-Stash um, things as my thank you. This week, I, uh, next two weeks, I've got something really nice that I think that everybody will like. Um, it's going to be change up on them. So, this one is Lucky Day Charm, Lucky Charm Day 8. And I haven't done one in a while, so I wanted to do one. And I've been trying to work out my scraps. And I just, over the weekend, I sat and... Uh, sorted out all my scraps. I have a bin full of paper that I'm going to be punching out with all my punches and then I have a bin full of scrap papers that I need to use so I'm going to probably see a lot of that more in the next couple months of me trying to use that up and then I have my solid colors that I have actual bins and you'll see it if you guys saw the video on my infomercial basically I keep calling it infomercial on my D stashes you get a quick look into my craft area and each one of my bins behind my desk has different colors in each bin so if I need scraps I go there first on solid if certain sizes I just put in to be cut up or punched up so um, so this one I haven't done in a while it is a never ending card I don't know if you've seen them I do have a video on how to make them they're pretty easy um, they they can get a little complicated with paper making and you'll see that as I show you this it gets a little complicated and you have to think in advance but um, if you like cooties when we were a kid, and if you follow me and you haven't seen the video, just put in Charming Custom Crafts and put uh, Never Ending. Um, and then card, it'll pop up the video on how to. Um, actually, if you put how to in most of mine, it'll, a lot of the how to's will pop up. Um, and I know I have a lot of videos. I've actually erased probably four or 500 videos over the last six years. Uh, it's a haul videos and share videos and happy meal. I've got to the point where that's just personal. And once I get past a certain point, like with haul videos, it's just they're old and they're not worth keeping anyway. <coughs> so, I wanted this to be a little classic but fun. And so, this is my never-ending card. And, and it's titled, When I Think of You. And I used a vellum sticker and put, I matted it and then I popped out of that. Took all my little punched out um, little butterflies that were in these colors. So, I have the lime green. That little artist. Uh, that wing came off. Um, I have the lime green, the um, sparkle gold, and I have the black glitter, and I have like this pale pink, and then I have a vellum um, green, and then I have the white ones. Now this paper back here is felted. It is a felt paper on um, backed with um, the glitter paper. Let's see if I can pull that up so you can see it a little bit. So I'm trying to get them done so I can go back in and, and um, watch TV with my husband so I can load these while I'm watching TV. So, with a cootie, you would open it up. So, this one is a never-ending. It does open up. So, give me a second. I'm going to try to open it. One-handed. It's not that easy. It's supposed to be two-handed. If you guys know anything about cooties. So, it opens up this way. And this is where it can get complicated because you have to worry about the sides. I'm putting stuff. So, it says, happiness, my honey. And then, of course, I did the... Um, embossed glitter paper I have a buttload of that and I'm tr I think I have some that's gonna go up for sale but yeah I've been using it as much as I can and it's pretty it goes with almost every holiday um, and then I put of course the shimmer glitter paper down and it butterflies all over the place and these are also pop dotted the words um, the one thing about glitter paper or felt paper even if you have sticker uh, backing or um, like pop dotted sticker best that if you have that to add in addition some sort of glue me I use glossy accent it's also glue so I use that now you see me flip it open now the one thing you're gonna watch me do and I, like I said I'm doing this one-handed I don't have my my desk set up yet I do but I don't have it set for recording yet and I need to set that up I need to pull my big tripod out and I have two good working areas now so hopefully 
So you open it back up again and it says, to me, you are perfect. And so what you saw before, you only saw, it says, to me, you are P, <laughs> which is funny. But if you open it up that way, you get another T fold. So you're flipping it back around. Now that's the third flip. And the paper is what I've already described with the same butterflies. Now you flip it. Now this is better to do when you got two hands. And when you flip it back, you have together forever, sweetheart. And I left it more simple on the back. But if you flip it one more time, it's going to bring you right back to the beginning. So that's my never-ending card when I think of you. I hope you like it. Enjoy the pictures. And stay tuned, guys. More to come.